Yes, it is me, Market Vendor here again today. And listen, folks, look, a few weeks back, about two months ago, I was listening to Professor Sir Henry Fraser and that amazing series called Did You Know? And he was talking about the names of places and how names of places get changed to things that are more, well, shall we say, you know, socially and politically acceptable. And the specific one, he tell a whole story about a place called Sweet Bottom in St. George. Now, those of us who are old enough to know and who went to school in the country would know a little bit about that area called Sweet Bottom. You understand? I don't understand why people would feel offended by the name Sweet Bottom and why it was necessary to change it to something a little bit more holistic called Sweet Vale. I read Professor Hazel uh, Fraser on this one. Particularly, let me just copy the British in everything and use some examples and show you how up in England they got places with a lot of places with some interesting and in sometimes some cases laughable and humorous names like Scratchy Bottom and Slack Bottom and Gallery up in bottom. So this preoccupation with wanting to change the name from Sweet Bottom to Sweet Vale really struck market vendor as bizarre because it is not the only place in Barbados that got a, a word that ends with bottom eh? and, def and describes a place that people live in. Now, for example, they got a place called Rock Bottom. Uh, you know where it is, market know where it is too as well. You got Bottom Bay up in St. Philip too as well. Then you have Moe's Bottom. Now, I don't know who Moe's is. You understand? But Moe's Bottom. And Moe's is not the only person that got a bottom, apparently, that is reflected in the name of a place. Apparently, a gentleman or a lady named Prescott also got one. Right off of, right off of Hinesbury Road there, so, you know, and back on, called Prescott Bottom. When you come across the crossroad, you will see it there before you get to the lights, huh? And then we have this whole thing about holes, you know, no penny hole. Why you would have to change penny hole and call penny hole, uh, you know, uh, gems It was some the same way I like penny hole. And I would have had no difficulty living in penny hole. Huh? Then you have a strange, bizarre thing where, you know, Bayland was not acceptable. So you change Bayland to Bayville. But yet you turn around and change pine housing area to pine lands. Huh? <laughs> Good for the goose, but not for the gander. I really don't understand it. It's a little confusing. Look, if I go and choose a place, and apparently that place can reflect what market vendor is worth, or what market vendor is all about, put me up in St. Peter at a place called Millionaire Road. <laughs> market golfer now. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Whether you traveling through, you know, Bottom Bay, Moe's Bottom, Prescott Bottom, or, well, Sweet Bottom, Sweet Vale. I don't for now. Yeah? <laughs>